like that about the voice because yeah. I think, you know, kind words go and heal well beyond the one person and then that person and oh yeah. And our voices, you know, really do make a difference in everything we do and it's something that especially women, you know, we're still kind of learning how to be vocal with our truth. Um, maybe not as much your generation. I don't know. Is it? I don't think so. But <laughs> I see what you're saying. That perspective of it. Yeah. Yeah. In a positive way. Well, I just think of like with kids, like be quiet or, like, you know, shut up. You know, you tell the kids to be quiet. And yeah, it's a young age that we kind of, I feel like, quiet our voice because it's just what you do. You're in school. You have to be listening to the teacher, you know, all these things. And so, yeah, that primal, um, helping people with their primal voice, I think is really interesting. Um, Cause unless you have kids too, like babies, like you're making weird noises, <laughs> maybe a dog too. <laughs> no, definitely that's a, a big piece of it too, is when, you know, we're trying to civilize and socialize our children and in doing so, you don't realize it. Of course, it's not, you know, deliberate, but we are literally shutting down that very organic primal part of us, that old brain limbic system, uh, you know, that basically that's like whenever you're in fight or flight, that's what, what it's activated and it's, you know, <laughs> it's the one that just lets you go, lets it go. Uh, but we become embarrassed and yeah. very self-conscious of the sounds that we make, you know, because it's, they're not like socially acceptable. So that carries over to telling, you know, the right brain, um, no, you can't do this. And, you know, that's what we want. We want to activate that right brain uh, because that's our creative side because sound, organic sound without words can, can heal and activate that right brain, that part of us that, that needs to make sound, make conscious sound to, uh, to release, to just to, to affirm, you know? Um, we lost our little guy, uh, 14 and a half year old dachshund five months ago. And um, mm -hmm. I'll tell you, my husband and I, we couldn't have held it back if we wanted to. The wailing. You know, you hear about the wailing wall and women keening, you know, for, to, to, to grieve. Exactly that. Oh, my gosh. And if we had tried to hold that back, I can't imagine the damage that we would have done to our body and our psyche and our biofield. Oh, that's and an excellent way to bring it around because... We do often have those sadness or even really happy feelings. Right. And you, you can't be like, yeah, you know, you watch that or cry like, oh, I can't cry now. I'm going into meeting. And it does. It circles inside you anyway, mm -hmm. grief and extreme joy. And at some point it must come out because we are um, beings that need to express and share through sound. And I really like the way you put that. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to say, I teach women um, a lot of times the pleasure sounds. And it's so funny how everyone's weirded out. I mean, we even did a YouTube. <laughs> yeah, mini. A mini on like the ha sound with pleasure. And I'm like, like the mm, people are comfortable with. But anything from there, you know, ha, ha and like, you know, they sound kind of sensual and sexual. But that brings that... Um, vagus nerve and that message to your brain I'm safe I can go in parasympathetic I can yes. feel and vibrate joy and that frequency like through all my bones but right. we again it's that not speaking it's the stigma of making you know orgasmic sounds uh, but that's those are very primal sounds and they're not always sexually, you know, identified, but uh, definitely I think people get very, um, you know, they, they're, they're, they're shut down in that regard. Mm -hmm. And it's like your, your body wants that though. You're, I, I talk about, you know, putting your hands on your body in different places and asking it, just being quiet and asking it, what, what does it want to tell me today? Mm -hmm. How do I, how do I feel today? 
what's going on inside of me today? Do we ever ask ourselves this? Hardly, right? And, and would I like to hmm, make some comfort sounds, right? Like you say, to activate that, the vagus nerve for the vagal tone, hmm, to get into rest and digest. Mm. Ah, even just allowing yourself to sigh, mm. you know, and, and you're relaxing as I'm saying that. I know, right? <laughs> I can see I took a deep breath. <laughs> Yeah, well, I know in my classes, I crack up because people start yawning. But yes. that's because they finally get to their parasympathetic and you're tired. You realize, wow, I'm really kind of tired. I know. And I'm like, don't worry if you yawn. It means that my class is working. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I like that, asking yourself. Yeah. Well, and then I'm touching, you know, it being a, a whole central experience of really getting to know yourself and your being and your sounds and just all of it. We're so really, you know, and I call it the cartoon bubble. <laughs> We're all up in the words.